So, uh, yes, it's, it's a weird thing, actually. Uh, my wife's very beautiful. It's another way I'm not like other stand-ups. I love my wife. Um, <laughs> it's, it's not funny. It's like, well, my wife's so beautiful when she sits around the house. I just want to be there. <laughs> We've even, on occasion, she's uh, occasionally an actor, she's like, really a mode. She's like, no, not unless they ask me, uh, which is a lot of free time. Uh, anyway, so occasionally we've done auditions together as a couple, and the first reaction of the directors is nearly always, no, no, no one is going to believe that. That really happened. So, Nicole, you're going to do the scene with Sven here. Oh, I'm Sven. Uh, and Chris, you can do the scene with this bucket. <laughs> So turn it over, turn it over, who do you think you're kidding? Um, yes, so anyway, in some sex, I'm going to talk about the one time I've ever tried to do anything useful. Uh, basically, I was at a McDonald's, sorry hippies, uh, and I went in and there was a homeless man outside of the McDonald's. And uh, I did what everyone does when they see a homeless man uh, outside somewhere they're intending to get something to eat. Uh, I thought, okay, where is the Battle of McDonald's? <laughs> and uh, I said, no, no. Uh, let's, uh, for the first time, I'm going to do something useful. I'm going to buy this homeless man a cheeseburger. So I went in and I bought myself three cheeseburgers. Uh, and then I remembered, oh, I was going to buy him one too. <laughs> so I ate mine really quickly, bought him one. And uh, I came out, he was still there. And I was really nervous. I'm not really good at talking to people. And I'm very nervous. And I saw the homeless man. And obviously, in my mind, it was going to go something like, uh, Here, brother, know that the bounty of the earth belongs to us all. And no matter how we fall, there are always some who care to catch us. <laughs> So it, it, it was going well, because uh, basically I held out the cheeseburger, and he held out his hand. And then I started to overthink it, just a little bit, because uh, I realized I did not ask this man if he wanted a cheeseburger. I have assumed that he wants a cheeseburger. I have si yes, I have simply, I have reduced this man to a, to a homeless man. He's no longer a human being to me, he's a homeless man. Isn't that the biggest problem? I have decided, I, would, I wouldn't go to a friend and go, here's a cheeseburger, I'd say, what do you want? But I didn't do that, I was also nervous. Uh, and basically, what occurred to me was, what if this man is a vegetarian? Uh, and unfortunately, how this came across was, I held out the cheeseburger, he went to reach for it, I had my idea, and went, ooh! Um, so yes, uh, the trouble is, as soon as I did it, I knew what I'd done wrong, and so did he, but once the hand goes out, it can't go down, the trust is broken. And so by possibly treating this man with more respect than anyone, because for me, I thought, what if he's like, oh, you know what, I'm, I'm homeless, a lot of bad things have happened to me, but if there's one thing I'm proud of, I've kept my vegetarianism. It doesn't matter how many cracks I've fallen under, but this is one thing I won't cross. And there's me going, do you want some meat? Here, take some meat. Yeah, nothing, have some meat. But no, I, I think it through, treating this man with respect, I am now taunting a homeless man with food, and he's looking at me like, how have you ended up where you are? I saw you through the window eating your cheeseburger. And I'm here. So I threw it at him and said, the earth loves you. Uh, <laughs> I ran away down that creaky street. 